Hey, peeps! Wow, that hair! Oh, I'm feeling goldy gold. Yes, looking very boom, boom, boom. Let me just get a little, little goldy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just. I guess because you just freshly. You know, my 30 minutes to get ready. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> The funny thing is, you know, he's so good at doing videos and editing, but he never says, Teresa, you only have makeup on one arm. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if any of you caught that on Monday. I literally only have makeup on this eye. Literally. I had nothing on this <laughs> eye. Go back and watch the video, right? <laughs> They're like, oh, we gotta see this. Oh my God. I'm like, you're a makeup artist also. Yeah, I know. You should be telling me. I guess that. I'm so focused on um, the video. I'm Teresa, like... you look like shit. You only got makeup on one eye. <laughs> That's because we were doing a collaboration video. Yes. And we were trying to show just one eye. You guys will see the video <laughs> soon. You guys will see. <laughs> and know exactly what day it was. You know what I love about my job? What is it? Teaching people. You, should, you are definitely a teacher. Not, not teacher. that I wanted to be a school teacher. Uh huh. No. But. I don't know if I'm teaching or influencing people. Both, 100%. But like the other day, Fab said, if I'm not with you, I'm not learning. Uh-huh. You said it on video, you can go uh -huh. back and see it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I just love it when Fab comes to me and he seems to have a problem. Uh-huh. And he needs to talk to me about it. Uh-huh. Because he knows I'm going to give him advice. Uh-huh. The real advice you need. Not what he wants to hear, yeah. but what he needs to hear. Yeah. So, we all know times are crazy. Yes. Inflation is crazy. Gas prices are crazy. Food prices. I mean, like, I called to get my windows cleaned from the same window company. Uh -huh. And the first thing out of his mouth is, well, you know, inflation, so we've had to increase our prices. And I'm like, to wash my windows? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. But I guess because it takes gas uh, to get to my house. Yeah. So everybody's increasing their prices. It's affecting everybody, it, everything. I mean, like, that blew my mind yestterday when he said, Well, you know, our prices have, incre have increased. And mm -hmm. I said, Why? I have a house with less windows. Right. Right. He said, You know, inflation. I'm like, This is ridiculous. So, Very with that terrible. said, you know, Fab's whole goal as an adult, uh -huh. <laughs> as a financially responsible adult, uh -huh. is to move out someday and live on your own. Yes. That's your goal. That is the goal. That is the dream. So, I've been trying to teach him and school him and advise uh -huh. him on how to do that. But with things getting more and more out of control price-wise, mm -hmm. it's getting harder and harder for him to obtain that goal because of certain things you have in your life. Yes, like this car that I have, that I drive. So like a year or a year and a half ago when uh -huh. I got that car, I can't uh -huh. remember. But anyways, times weren't like this. We no. were just coming out of the pandemic mm -hmm. and we thought, the worst was over. Yeah. And, you know, all that kind of crap. Gas prices were not like this. Oh, well, you know, everything. Yeah. So he's like, Teresa, with my car payment to where it's at, mm -hmm. I'm never going to be able to afford to move out and get my own apartment. Right. What's Teresa's advice? This is what you got to do. Budget this way. It'll work out perfectly. Get rid of that damn car. Uh huh get you something more affordable uh -huh. because once again and, and the sad thing is is so many people are attached to status mm -hmm. oh look at me look what I drive mm -hmm. look look mm -hmm. not I don't I don't think I'm talking about your kids your age not my age but mm -hmm. 
you know, once once you get to be my age, yeah, maybe there's some status in where you live or how you live. I don't know. I, I you know me. I just live my life the way uh -huh. I want to live it. I can care less what anybody else thinks. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Go be a hater somewhere else. Yeah. But I'm just saying, um, with Generation X or whatever generation you're in, you, what, are, what generation are you? Millennial. Uh -huh. Well, millennials and all these other generation uh -huh. kids. It's all about status, you yes. know, and, and on Instagram, what am I driving? Uh -huh. and, oh, what am I wearing? And uh -huh. it's, it's all, it's like their identity is hooked into status. Uh -huh. Oh, but I have to have this car or uh -huh. I'm a nobody. Uh -huh. No, no. You have to have a car to get you from point A to point B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I know the haters are going to go, oh, well, that's fine for you to say, Tree, so you have a... Rolls Royce and a Bentley and a Mercedes. Well, I'm also old. <laughs> but you also worked. I've also worked my entire life, my entire life, to have what I have. You see, with us, we want to skip. We want to skip something. You want to skip one and, and just go back. <laughs> so, Fab over lunch, um, but we had this discussion. And he was asking my advice, and he already knew the answer. But I think he just needed some reassurance from someone, yeah, older, because I didn't and wiser. Think about it with anyone, really. Yeah. And I was like, I know if I speak it to you and I put it out there, I know that it's like I need to do the right thing. So what's the right thing? The right thing is to get rid of this car, hand it off, get something affordable. Pay easily without the stress. And we can be and a see, lot and, and see, a year ago, you thought it was affordable because it was like... Because it was only a little bit more from the Camaro I was driving. Right, right. I was like, oh, $200 more, I could be driving a Mercedes. I might as well... If I'm spending this much, I might but as well spend a little more. But you didn't have a crystal ball and you didn't see inflation coming. No. And gas prices. No. And all this other no. stuff. So not only has gas prices gone up, but food prices, rent mm -hmm. prices. Like... Whatever you want to do in life now, it's it's gone up. Yes. Yes. Everything. Big time. Entertainment. Yes. Every, everything's gone up mm -hmm. in price. Mm -hmm. And so in order for Fab to excel in other areas of his life, meaning move out, don't get your own apartment, mm -hmm. he's got to have that extra money to do so. Yes. And that extra money needs to come from lowering his car payment. Yes. We found the problem. We to fix it so we can move on otherwise we're just going to be stuck there and stressed <laughs> <laughs> and you don't need that stress no i'm literally giving myself my that stress myself apparently i care what other people think and even though you know, i like to say i don't but apparently i do the only reason i would want would want to care what other people think is if they were paying my bills and they're not I'm glad we talked about that today. I'm yes. glad you feel better about it. I'm yes, glad so much I better. Solved another world issue. It was killing me, exactly. So learn from me, guys. Learn. Learn. And if you're not learning, let me tell you, book a coaching call, because I booked one today last minute. <laughs> so I, got, I was able to squeeze in. <laughs> I was able to squeeze Fab right in for that coaching call. And it wasn't no 30-minute coaching call. Thank God it was on my lunch break. <laughs> so he got it for free. Oh. I was like, just, let me just slip that in there real quick. And just <laughs> he does it on my lunch break because we have lunch together. Uh -huh. So he gets a free lunch, a free coaching call. Yeah. So anyways, guys, we need to show you what's going on with the house because we got a lot going on. So let's go see what's going on. So I have a hundred gallon live oak trees being delivered. We're gonna put two in the backyard back here, over yonder. And then two of them are going out front. Got another holly tree. We've got more med fans, dwarf yopons. Yes, come on with the landscaping, come on. Love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to get all this planted. Can't get away from the plastic. Plastic's always everywhere. <laughs> so we are building, creating the new opening for the 60 inch Lanai modern contemporary fireplace. 
that's gonna go in here. We've taken the TV down so they can get this framed in. And then they brought me wax leaf ligustrums. So we're trying to figure out how many of these big 30 gallon wax leaf ligustrums it's gonna take to put around here for privacy. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna create some structure here to where you can't really see in, give a little privacy, block the cold wind in the winter time. So when we're sitting out here watching football games, it's blocking some of the cold wind blowing in. I'm gonna create another bed out here and create some stuff over here. So we just added another holly tree here, which is gonna look good. I'll get a light on it. And then they are over here creating a bed. We call it a bed. Look at all this plastic. Ah! Progress though, progress. And then over here, creating a bed to plant these wax leaf ligustrums. So we're planting everything. They've got the hole for the next tree to go in here. This is gonna create a nice screening. Love it. Need to get some water on these bad boys. Okay, so they got the countertops put in today. Yes, looking good. I've picked out the color of paint for the cabinets. Looks good. So now I need a hold of plumber. I have the plumber come and put the faucets on. Yay! And then we can get these cabinets painted. So guys, here, you like this hairdo? You know when it is hot, you just gotta get your hair up out of the way. I know earlier I had it all curled and looking sassy, but I was outside with the landscape guys trying to place these new live oaks and work around everything and it's just hot, hot. Anyways, remember guys, off my closet, I have these beautiful double set of doors. Yes, like going out to my rose garden while they're right now removing all of the grass because we are going to be putting down the pavers. See the there's one park bench right there. We're gonna be putting down pavers and all of that gray starlight rock. So you'll be able to walk on the pavers. So if you have high heels on, you won't be walking on the gravel. But anyways, uh, yeah, a lot of work. We still gotta get the cement steps in and everything, but they are here today. It's 102 out, I think right now. I feel so bad having these guys work, but they wanna work, so. Anyways, they are about to remove all of this grass and then we will be putting down some sand and then gravel and the pavers. So lots of stuff going on. So let's go outside and see how they're doing with the big live oaks. So over yonder, they are digging holes because we have to plant that live oak. And then about probably, oh well, over by that wheelbarrow. barrel, is where the other hole is gonna be built or dug. And then this live oak standing right here is gonna go in it. So I'm gonna have two nice big live oaks in my backyard. And then in the very far corner, way back there, way back there, we're gonna do another three palm trees and another flower bed and everything back there. So it's gonna look pretty. And we're working on storage above this toilet in this bathroom. So he's already sanded it. He is now caulking and getting ready to primer. And then we have two more live oaks that are gonna get planted out here. So I will have more trees in my front yard. I'm tired of not having trees, I need more trees. So yes, this is gonna look so nice when it's done. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so are they supposed to be on break? Or are they just getting paid to sit in the shade? 
I don't know how this works, guys. What do you think? Let me move this out of the way. I can't see. Yeah, yes, I can see you guys. Mm-hmm. Is it break time or are we just getting paid to sit in the shade? It's TikTok time over there. <laughs> 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 yeah, that one guy sitting down right there on his phone. He's like, I saw you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kitchen is coming along. We have since decided we're going to build a little island right here in the middle. A little 22 by 32 little island because I'm going to use the quartz from the other bar. So this is looking good. Yes. Gotta get these cabinets painted. I've got enough backsplash for in here. It's gonna be ready for the fridge. They gotta do a fur down up there. We're getting close. I got the sofa in a box out in the garage, all covered up. So yeah, let's make it happen, guys. Let's get moved in, come on. So this looks good. Got my little roses here that are gonna grow big. So it covers up all this piping. That's gonna look good. Outdoor shower, so we can't put anything right there. These all got planted, so we're gonna create a nice edge. So we've gotta trim these and shape them. Got another holly put in here, so it kind of covers up this big old white chase for the fireplace. And then over here, looks good. Two more med fans got planted, and five dwarf yopon. So that's gonna be pretty on this side of the outdoor living so that it doesn't cover up. I wanna I want be able to set all my sofas over here and look this direction and see my back 40, you know? So that looks amazing. And then they got the two live oaks in the backyard planted. So they are now planted and have been watered. So those are gonna grow and be amazing back here. So I still have to create my palm trees and a flower bed back here yet. I just don't know if I wanna do it yet. It's so damn hot, but I did get all of this planted. So this is good. And got another holly there in front of that fireplace chase. So backyard is coming along. God, it's hot guys. Whoo, 103, feel bad for these guys. It's like they probably just need to have umbrellas above them all the time so they can stay cool. So this was supposed to be my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken over. And this Fab time. had just taken over. Like, uh, you know, are you going to be in my bed next or what? <laughs> <laughs> my God, literally, I've taken over this whole area. You have just taken over everything. Like every spot in my house I go to, it's like Fab's here. Mm -hmm. Fab's here. Mm -hmm. Fab's here. And I just created an island in your kitchen, in your apartment. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Everything's going accordingly well. Closet, we're still talking about. Still trying to get some strip lighting in there and 5K lighting and all that good stuff. <sighs> so guys, what I, have, what I have attempted to do, and I tell me if I have or have not done it, I have attempted to really take you guys behind the scenes in what it's like to remodel a house show you step by step day by day minute by minute from day one from day one from the minute we started tearing out that pool to building the new pool to tearing down walls so you've you've heard me tell you what i wanted this place to look like and i hope through this entire journey so far i've done exactly that 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 i've been able to show you what my vision was from the beginning because I talked about my vision and now you've seen it unfold and so we are coming to I keep saying we're coming to an end mm -hmm. but I don't know my husband yesterday was like how much more do we have left to do <laughs> I'm like honey you know by now we're never done <laughs> <laughs> I still have a whole row of cabinets I want built over there with uh -huh. a refrigerator uh -huh. I'm like you know, honey, I don't know when we're going to be done. <laughs> then we got to start on the barn because mm. my daughter's moving here. Their house went on the market, was on the market one day, went under contract. OMG. Crazy, right? Mm -hmm. In Wyoming. So, and you'd think that that wouldn't have happened with the interest rates 
going like they're going, but people still want to have a house. Right. Still, people still want to have a house. So, anyways, um, yeah, uh, just I, I just you know this whole time I've just hoped that I've gotten you know to me I just live my life you know but I hope through all the videos that we've done through this remodel that I truly have been able to share with you what it's like to do a remodel. And sure, this has been on a much more grander scale than a lot of you would do. You know, some people do a $20,000 remodel because they just want to update their kitchen a little bit or their bathroom, whatever, you know. This has been like, you know, my husband's mm. like, how much do you think you really spent? You know, because I came in with a certain dollar amount I was going to do it for, mm -hmm. but that was before inflation hit. And and we've really talked about inflation today uh, in this video. That is, a, that is the word of the day, Haven't inflation. We? So with inflation and the cost of lumber and everything that's happened this past year and the delays and everything, do you understand that the Sub-Zero refrigerator that I ordered last September is finally coming in next month. It's it's scheduled to arrive next month, finally. That's better than what we've heard for 10 months. Mm -hmm. 11 months. For 11 mm -hmm. months, 10 months, all we've heard is, oh, it's pushed out again. Because remember, it was June, and then it was July, uh -huh. and then it was August. Now they've at least attempted to tell me that it's, it's here's an expected date. And I'm like, finally? But do you understand the $24,000 Sub-Zero fri fridge and freezer that I bought? Guess how much it costs now? Ugh. One she, more? She just told me that <coughs> you can't get it now for under $30,000. Wow. Inflation. So you got it at the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've had to wait for 10 months, uh -huh. 11 months, I got it at the perfect time. Like, wow. The cost of stuff is just crazy. It's going through the roof. So anyways, guys, I have one helper over here hiding behind the computer. That's a new intern. <laughs> he's an intern. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, interns work for free. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not, not going oh, to like cost. that. He's, gonna cost. he's not going to like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look up interns. Interns are supposed to work for free. <laughs> but I don't work like that. Oh, oh, oh. inflation. <laughs> and here's the new generation. <laughs> okay. But I don't work like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> With that attitude too. I didn't have no attitude. <laughs> well, I don't work like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> With the old head roll and everything going on. You'll learn. You'll learn. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I hope Fab understood his message today. Mm -hmm. Loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> and I've even told him to to keep him grounded. Uh -huh. I will literally go car shopping with him <laughs> 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 to make sure he gets the proper car with the proper low car you're, you were a car salesman before i was so you know how they you know i was one customer. of my many things i've done <laughs> and when i was a car salesman it was i had four jobs at that time Sheesh. four part-time jobs that none of them were full-time because mm -hmm. i was trying to carry 16 credit hours of college at that same time so i was going to college full-time my first job was to get up and teach my 6 a.m. aerobics class. From there, I'd clean up, run off to college, go to college from 8 until 12, get done there, go sell cars from noon until 5, leave there at 5, go next door to Fitness Plus, teach another aerobics class, and I was the assistant manager. So I was overseeing the health club till it closed at 9 or 10 or whatever, usually at 9. And then I would race off and three nights a week, cocktail waitress till two in the morning. Who are you? <laughs> and had two kids. Oh. So don't talk about work ethic to me because I invented the word. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have always been a workaholic. I will die being a workaholic because the only way you get things in life is to work for them. And I've done it my whole life. So anyways, guys, hope you got today's message. This was not motivational Monday, but it should have been. Okay. <laughs> this was, uh, what's a good word that starts with a W about, not, 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 not work Wednesday, but uh -huh. 
<sighs> I don't know why wellness is coming to my head. Not right wellness. This had nothing to do with wellness. This had to do with taking care. This had to do with changing Fab's life. Uh -huh. You know, things needed to change in his life because the stress, believe it or not, stress kills. Stress makes you overeat. Mm -hmm. Stress uh, stress can make you not sleep. Mm -hmm. Stress can just drive you crazy. Mm -hmm. So the great thing is, is Fab realized it. He understands the stress he's under, and driving a car for a status is not worth it. No man, it's not worth the sleepless nights. It's not worth the overindulging in mm -hmm. food and alcohol and everything else mm -hmm. to just try to deal with that stress. So, you know what, sometimes you need to change things in your life to be happy. Because sometimes happiness is better than trying to keep up with the Jones and mm -hmm. look like you've got this status going on. Yeah. Nobody really gives a goddamn. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of the and if Jones. they do give a goddamn, they weren't meant to be your friend anyways. So, with that said, get out there, enjoy your life. Declutter, change things in your life, do whatever it takes to be happy because this is the one and only life you have. So until next time, guys, bye bye.